Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we're going to be talking about price elasticity of demand, right? So this is a video on price elasticity of demand and uh, we're going to be covering all the parts of it. We're going to be covering the curves, we're going to be covering the definition and everything, right? So let's go ahead and get started guys, okay? So uh, what is price elasticity of demand? So let's suppose I am actually would start from the demand curve. Let's suppose this is the price and this is something which is demand. Now usually the demand curve is a downward sloping curve like this. So this is a demand curve, right? I'm sorry, this is not, this is the quantity demanded, right? So uh, Let's suppose at this price, at this price, at P price, I will be actually demanding quantity Q, right? So this is how it works. And uh, let's suppose at P2 price, I'll be demanding a quantity, or let's suppose this is Q1, I'll be demanding a quantity on Q2. Now, how do you define price elasticity of demand? So mathematically, so mathematically, so if I were to define it mathematically first, uh, price elasticity of demand, so price elasticity of demand which is also known as PED it's equal to the percentage the percent change in quantity divided by the percent change in demand percent change in price right so uh, price elasticity of demand is equal to the percentage change in quantity divided by the percentage change in price. So that is the definition mathematically. So if I were to talk in layman terms, it checks the responsiveness of the demand. It checks the responsiveness of the demand with respect to the price, right? So it basically checks. Uh, what if I bring about, let's suppose, a unit change in price or let's suppose a specific change in price, uh, what is going to be the response of the quantity demanded, right? So, well, there are so many scenarios that actually come into my mind. Now, the first scenario that comes into my mind, uh, in fact, the, the scenario that actually comes into my mind, before that, I'll actually write down the uh, definition of price elasticity of demand, which is the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in the price. Now, if I were to say that the price elasticity of demand is actually equal to 1. So, if the price elasticity of demand is equal to 1, then this value will actually be equal to 1. That means the percentage change in price is going to be equal to the percentage change in quantity demanded. So, layman terms, if I increase my price by 10%, my uh, quantity demanded will also change by 10%. Now, let's suppose, so this is one scenario. Let's suppose that price elasticity of demand is actually equal to 0. Now, when will this be equal to 0? When the quantity of, when the quantity demanded, the percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to 0. And uh, what does this mean actually? That means if the percentage change in quantity demanded is zero and there is there can be any percentage change in the price so that means i can keep on changing the price whichever way i want the quantity demanded will just not change right so irrespective so it means that irrespective of the change in price so irrespective of the change in price right uh, the quantity demanded will not change so that is what it means. Now what about when uh, per the price elasticity of demand is actually greater than 1? That means the percentage change in quantity demanded is actually greater than the percentage change in the price. Now in this case, I mean to say that if I increase the price, let's say by 10%. So if I change the price, the percentage change in price, it's let's say 10%. That means the percentage change in quantity demanded would be greater than 10%. So in this case, what is happening here is even a smaller change in percentage demand is actually bring in, in, in the price is actually bringing a bigger change in quantity demanded. So a smaller change in price or so smaller change in price it actually brings up. So smaller change in price brings up 
a greater change in quantity demanded. So what does that mean? That actually means that the price elasticity of demand is actually elastic. So when I say elastic, that means even a smaller change brings about a greater change. So which is why this is elastic. Now what about price elasticity of demand less than 1? So if I talk about price elasticity of demand less than 1, that means percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the percentage change in price. Which means, a, uh, which means that, let's suppose if I change the percentage of price, if I change the price by let's say 10%, the quantity demanded will actually be less than 10% change which means the price elasticity of demand here is inelastic which means I'll have to change the price by a lot for me to bring about a change in the quantity demanded which means the price elasticity of demand is inelastic here. So suppose you're understanding this point over here when price elasticity of demand is 1 when the price elasticity of demand is zero, when it's greater than one, and when it's actually less than one. Now, if I were to talk about, uh, you know, various values that price elasticity of demand can actually take. So let's suppose this is the number line. So price elasticity of demand can be actually equal to zero, right? So price elasticity of demand equal to zero. It can actually be equal to one. It can actually be equal to negative one. It can be equal to all these values going till positive infinity. It can be all these values going till negative infinity. Now I'll just write down all the results here. Now we've already know that when price elasticity of demand is actually equal to zero, the percentage change in qu quantity demanded is equal to the percentage change in price, right? So you know there is an equal change, right? So that's there. Now when is the price elasticity of demand equal to infinity? So price elasticity of demand is actually equal to infinity when the percentage change in price is actually equal to zero because uh, price elasticity of demand is actually equal to the percentage change in quantity divided by the percentage change in price. If this is equal to zero, then this whole expression would be infinite. So that means that over here, uh, I don't even need to change my price. My quantity demanded will keep on changing like anything. So over here, the price is constant and uh, you can actually keep on changing your, uh, you can actually keep on changing your demand whichever way you want, right? So in this case, I mean to say that price elasticity of demand is actually infinite. And this is the case where price elasticity of demand is actually perfectly elastic. So in this case, price elasticity of demand is actually perfectly elastic. And in the above case where price elasticity of demand is actually equal to zero, which means the percentage change in quantity demanded is actually equal to zero. That means no matter what I do, I will not be able to bring the change in the quantity demanded. But this is a perfectly inelastic price elasticity of demand. So this is perfectly inelastic. This is le this is perfectly elastic, which means all these terms are going to have elastic price elasticity of demand, which this being the perfectly elastic. And uh, this over here with between zero and one, when price elasticity of demand is actually less than one, this is actually going to be inelastic. Now, what about the negative signs? Now, till now, if if now in these cases over here what was happening if there is a percentage increase in price there would be a percentage increase in quantity demanded if there was percent decrease in price there would be percent decrease in quantity demanded however in these cases if the if the price increases the demand would decrease so this is a case of uh, you know opposite right so if i say price elasticity of demand is actually equal to minus 1 so in this case, if the if the percentage of price increases by 10%, then the quantity demanded will actually decrease by 10%, right? So in this case, it's the opposite, right? So the sign is opposite. Again, the price elasticity of demand is inelastic between 0 and 1, negative 1 and 0. And over here, it's elastic with this being perfectly elastic, right? So I suppose you're understanding what I'm trying to say here that uh, these, this is what price elasticity of demand looks like. So if I say that price elasticity of demand is actually equal to 0 0.5, what do you mean by that? That means the demand curve 
it's uh, the the price elasticity of demand is inelastic and uh, if if i increase my price uh, if i increase my price there would be an insignificant percent change in the quantity demanded because this is inelastic fine so that is what i mean to say so if i change my price there would be insignificant change or not actually e the, the, the same change in the uh, the the quantity demanded fine so i suppose you're understanding this point over here now let's go ahead and understand how does the slope of the demand curve and how does the price elastic what are the curves of the price elasticity of demand now if i were to talk about this here so let's suppose this is what it is and this is the quantity and this is the price now when price elasticity of demand is equal to zero you know that the quantity the percentage change in quantity demanded is actually equal to zero so that means no matter what i do the price elasticity will look the price elasticity will actually look like this so this is price elasticity of demand equal to zero because no matter what change in the price i bring about the quantity demanded remains the same right so even at this price this is the quantity demanded even at this price this is the quantity demanded so this is price elasticity of demand equal to zero and when is the price elasticity of demand so i'm just talking about the modulus value here is equal to infinity now that is equal to infinity when it's a line like this so this is price elasticity of demand equal to infinity which means that i can keep on changing my quantity to whichever way i want but the price will not change fine so this is price elasticity of demand equal to infinity and this over here is actually price elasticity of demand to be equal to 1 so this over here is the price elasticity of demand equal to 1 so at this case uh, an equal change in so i'm just talking about the modulus value so in this case the equal change in price will actually be the the same change in the quantity demanded as well right so this is the price elasticity of demand being equal to 1 So suppose you're understanding all these parts over here, guys. Now let's just uh, you know, okay, let's just take an example here. Let's, let's suppose uh, if I have this demand curve, something like this. So the price is currently, let's say, six dollars, and uh, this is price which is actually five dollars, right? And this is my demand curve. And at this, I'm actually producing three thousand units, and at this, I'm actually producing six thousand units. Fine. So what is the price elasticity of demand? that is actually equal to the percentage change in quantity demanded by the percentage change in of price so what's the percentage change of quantity demanded so percentage change of quantity demanded is actually equal to this minus this which is 6000 minus 3000 over the original value which is 3000 times 100 which is actually going to be 3000 over 3000 into 100 uh, which is actually equal to 100% so this is 100% and what about the percentage change in the uh, in the price so that goes from 6 to 5 so it's 6 minus 5 over 6 into 100 so this goes and this goes and i'm left with 6 so the price elasticity of demand is actually equal to 6 and can clearly see a little change in price actually brings about a very big change in quantity demanded so that is what the 6 is representing because the price elasticity of demand over here is actually greater than 1 which means my curve is elastic which means a small change in percentage will actually bring a significant change in my quantity demanded fine so i suppose you're understanding this point over here guys so i'll just revise this one thing again that if i say this is the price and this is the quantity so if the demand curve is something like this which makes an angle 45 degrees uh with the x axis if let's suppose this is the demand curve then the price elasticity of demand will actually be equal to 1 because this percentage change will actually be equal to this percentage change right so this will actually be equal to this however if i make my demand curve a little you know a little bit more uh, less steep actually make it actually i make it like this in that case price elasticity of demand will actually be greater than 1 because a smaller change in price will actually bring a bigger change in quantity demanded so the price elasticity of demand would be greater than 1 and if i make my demand curve to be like steeper like this 
So a big change in price will actually bring a small change in quantity demanded, which means my price elasticity of demand is less than one. Fine. So I suppose you're understanding this point over here, guys. Uh, so this would be about this video, guys. I suppose you've understood everything. Thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, before we move forward, just this would be our website that is perfectdashcourse.com. Don't forget to explore that. And uh, more important than that, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, right? And this would be our email address to send us your valuable feedback. So this would be about this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.